in Taiwan and raised and graduated in medicine in Brazil, specialist in infectious and parasitic diseases, a general practitioner and prenatal and internal medical nutrition therapist, once in charge of the hospital infection control service of the city of Franca's general hospital. She was responsible for the control of all prescribed anti uh, antimicrobial medication and received an award for the best paper presented at Brazilian Hospital Infectious Control Congress in 1998. Uh, since 1997, uh, she works with the approach and treatment of all chronic diseases in holistic holistic way with treatment guided through the teaching of uh, traditional Chinese medicine and Hippocrates. Okay, uh, uh, Dr. Ling uh, is going to uh, uh, give her lecture on uh, energy alternation and chakras energy uh, the uh, involved in patients with memory loss. Okay, uh, Dr. Wing, you can start. Okay, thank you for the introducing me. I don't know if I click in the right uh, button, but I will try to. Okay, there yeah. is a uh, mm, there is a, a green button uh, at the bottom of your screen. It says share your screen, share a screen. If you can't, I can share my screen and show your PowerPoint. Uh, can you see? No. No? No. Oh. Okay, I will begin again. Share screen and then after, uh, there is a button here that I need to share here. Okay, yes, is it now we can see your screen, yes. Okay. Oh, let me see here. Can you see now? No, there is just a white screen. No? No. Oh, oh I, I can you share my, my PPT? Because I sent to you. Okay, I, I can uh, share your PPT, uh, PowerPoint. You can? Uh, okay, I wait. Yes, okay. Uh, you have to stop sharing. Okay, uh, so okay, I can. Okay, okay, okay. Sorry. Okay. Now. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Can you, can everyone see the screen? Now I can see. Okay. Can I begin? Yes, please begin. Okay. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening to everyone. My name is Huang Wei Ling, I'm a medical doctor from Brazil. I'm very happy to be here today in this the Mesa Neurology Conference. And I would like to thank the organizing committee to invite me to this conference to share this study entitled Energy Alterations and Chakras Energy Deficiencies Involved in Patients with Memory Loss. Oh, um, can you, uh, I can't, uh, you need to, to put the next, next slide. For me. Can you, uh, can you, yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, this presentation is based on Hippocrates' quote that said that it's important to consider other ancient medical traditions prior to the knowledge we have nowadays. And for this reason, I chose to develop this lecture using traditional Chinese medicine reasoning 
together with what we have nowadays regarding memory loss. Uh, the most common causes in memory loss, uh, according to Western medicine, are age-related changes that most common cause, a myocognitive impairment, dementia, and depression. And less common causes are normal pressure hydrocephalus due to excess fluid around the brain, subdural hematomas, that is blood bags under the outmost layers of the membranes covering the brain, hypothyroidism as under reactive uh, thyroid gland and vitamin B12 deficiency. Next, please. But the, uh, in this presentation, in this presentation, we will not focus on the memory loss itself, but on the root of the problem. Uh, I, I don't know if you can see my, my, my pointer yes. here. Yes, you can see. Okay, no, thank no, you. No, <laughs> no you can't see. Yeah, you, I can see yours, but uh, you can't see mine. Okay. Uh, you can see in the, yeah, this tree symbolize a human body. You can see that this tree has a trunk with several branches in brown and each branch represents one medical specialty and coming out of each branch, you can see many leaves. And these leaves represent the symptoms and disease treated by each medical specialty. But you can see that this tree has a, a root that is under the ground that usually we cannot see that are the energy that uh, 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 goes to, to the, each branch and each leaves to give energy and nu nutrition. And normally this, um, this side of the human body is not, uh, no, um, is not to teach it in the medical schools to see how are the energy alterations that are uh, involved in the formation of many kinds of disease in the human body. And the, what Western medicine usually studies is the disease itself, but they do not study what are involved in each formation of each disease. And in this presentation today, I will show which are the energy that are in the root of this tree that is leading to the memory loss formation in the leaf level, because the leaf level is not the cause. The leaf level is only the symptom, and we need to treat the cause and not the symptoms. And you can see that, uh, you can see that the Western medicine usually treats the leaf level, but what the traditional Chinese medicine you can see in the left of this figure that traditional Chinese medicine understand the tr whole tree that the symbol, that the, the, the symptom that the, pre, uh, the patient is presented in the leaf level is only a symptom. What we need to know is what are the energy imbalances that are in the root of this tree that is causing the symptom in the leaf level. And you can see in this slide, oh no, uh, in this slide, you can see that there are, uh, some external pathogenic factors that usually causes the energy imbalances in the root that are the influence of the cold wind, the heat, the humidity, and dryness that Western medicine does not understand that they can cause. As you can see many times that we are in a cold day or in a wind day, we can begin to have a runny nose. This is because of the entrance of the external pathogenic factors. And it's not caused by the virus, but it's caused by the entrance of cold and wind. And that is why traditional Chinese medicine understand this influence can begin the formation of the disease. And uh, next slide, please.
But the, in this presentation, we will not focus on the memory loss itself, but on the root of this problem, making an analogy of this tree. And the memory loss is in the leaf of this tree and the Western medical specialties are the branches. But I will show that the cause of memory loss is not visible by the naked eye because it's in the root of this tree in the energy level. And according to traditional Chinese medicine, memory loss is a consequence of a patient's energy imbalance. When there is an inability to concentrate and study and poor memory is a sign of a disease of the spleen and pancreas and the kidney energy deficiency also. When there is a difficulty in remembering events that occurred a long time ago and business is a sign of kidney deficiency. And when there is a deficiency of the heart, memory is weak about past event, forgetfulness of num uh, names and distraction. Uh, next slide, please. Oh, I, I want to show you this table is a st study that I did in my clinic studying a thousand patients from 2015 to 2020. And uh, among these uh, thousand patients, I was able to study a four hundred and nine records uh, of these patients. And I, uh, in this study, I'm showing that 90% of all my patients do not have any energy in any of these chakras energy centers. What this means, uh, they only have energy in the seventh chakra that are the spiritual chakra. Uh, in this study, I'm, I'm measuring the um, chakras energy, which corresponds to the five massive organs in traditional Chinese medicine. What this means that the first chakra uh, represents the, the wood elements in TCM that are in the root that I show you in the tree metaphor. And the wood element corresponds to the liver energy. And the second chakra corresponds to the water element, corresponds to the kidney. And the third the chakra corresponds to the heart element, uh, to the fire element, and corresponds to the heart. The fourth uh, chakra corresponds to the metal element and corresponds to the lung. And the, the fifth chakra corresponds to the earth element and corresponds to the spleen in traditional Chinese medicine. This correspondence uh, of the chakra with the five element theory, uh, there are some uh, articles in the literature demonstrating this correlation. And when I'm measuring the chakra's energy in Ayurveda medicine, I am measuring the five massive organs in traditional Chinese medicine, because in China, they usually measure the energy of each massive organ and measuring the pose in the wrists of the patient. But uh, it's very difficult to put in the scientific um, a form to you to demonstrating that this patient have or no, do not have energy. And using this kind of measuring, using radiesthesia, I can show you. And, but this is not, uh, uh, was not common in the past. In the past, all the patients have energy in the inter internal organs. And this uh, began to happen after 2015, more or less, I think because this is happening because of the influence of the, uh, the electromagnetic waves in our lives leading to these energy deficiencies. And in an article that I wrote in the um, energy deficiency in the chakras energy centers and propensity to COVID-19 infection, I am showing that the symptoms presented by the patients with COVID-19 nowadays uh, could be related to these energy deficiencies and the propensity to this infection is mainly because of this second chakra deficiency that is the kidney energy deficiency that I am demonstrating through this study that 97% of these patients do not have 
the Zen Ki, that is the energy that protects the body against the invasion of the external pathogenic factors that SARS-CoV-2 uh, nowadays are considered the external pathogenic factors invasion. And uh, here, the sixth chakra is corresponds to the memory and concentration of the patients. And uh, you can see that even children, young adults, uh, adolescents, young adults, and older patients, all of them do not have memory and concentration. And it's not only related to Alzheimer patients or dementia patients, all of us are, you can see that you are, you, your memory is not in, uh, like in the past, your memory is weak, weaker. And that is why this is because the energy of the sixth chakra is weakened nowadays. And we need to treat this condition uh, because nowadays we cannot turn off the electromagnetic radiation that we have in our entire world because of the system of communication of the cell phones and all the computers and all the WhatsApp and all. And that's why we can have this webinar today because of this radiation too. Next slide, please. Oh, uh, before I explain the case report that I bring to you to show you a case report of memory loss, I will show you uh, one case that was the cornerstone of all my treatments nowadays. It was a 70-year-old male patient that I treated myself in 2006. And this patient was having pain in the legs for six months without any improvement with the use of anti-inflammatory medication. And he went to my clinic to be treated with TCM. And in the diagnosis on traditional Chinese medicine, uh, in the energy point of view, he was having kidney yang deficiency at the root of that tree. And his problem uh, was at the root of the, the tree. That is why he was using medication to treat the leaf level, but his problem was in the root. And that is why treating the patients in the leaf level will cause energy imbalances in the root. And that is why he was not improving. And uh, after this diagnosis, I began to use Chinese dietary counseling and all patients that I am treating, usually the Chinese dietary alterations are the first step in all my treatments because according to Hippocrates, make your food or medicine or medicine your food. And the second step was to do acupuncture to balance again the yin and qi and blood energies. And also I did a reclick acupuncture associated with apex blood letting. Uh, next slide, please. And uh, after 10 acupuncture sessions, uh, the pain reduced very much and he returned 30 days after treatment. And he revealed to me that he's, besides the, the improvement of the pain, the legs, he improved it in another condition that he didn't told me, he didn't tell me that he had uh, glaucoma and he also improved it of his glaucoma and he's in the first time of his life, his glaucoma went to uh, uh, his intracular pressure was 40 mmHg in the uh, in the past and went to 17 mmHg. And in first uh, for the first time of his life, his intracular pressure improved uh, after the treatment of the. Pain the, uh, pain the legs. That is why I'm showing the necessity of the treatment in the root level, the energy balances and not just the symptom. He was treating glaucoma for the last, uh, for the last 40 years with no improvement, only using eye drops. Next slide, please. And now I will begin a case report that I, I was treating in my clinic. She was a 23 year old female patient and he, she was having depression symptoms. 
since two years ago and was using many psychotropic medications to treat the depression. And after the treatment of using these psychotropic medications, she began a tremor symptoms. And in 2018, she started to have a constant nausea, vomiting, thinking that she was pregnant and in control, crying, too much sleep, heart beating very hard, had the racing, shortness of breath. And when she had panic attacks, anxiety and depression, she couldn't even walk because of the legs were wooby. The next slide, please. And these are the medications that she was using, was fluxetine, sertraline, uh, fivotril, paroxetine, clomipramine, all these kinds of medication in a, uh, six kinds of medication to control her depression symptoms. Uh, next, please. And all these medication to control the side effects caused by the use of antidepressant and insulitic medications. Uh, next, please. And after some months after she, she reported to being um, having memory problems and short-term memory, it was very poor, excessive sleep, did not gain weight with the medications and did not feel any change in appetite and the nausea disappeared completely. And um, next, please. And in her treatment, I, I orientate uh, first the Chinese dietary recommendations, avoiding dairy products, cold water, sweets, and raw food, because all these foods could induce uh, the spleen and pancreas, the 50 chakra imbalance or the spleen pancreas meridian imbalance that is responsible for the absorption of nutrients and production of blood. <clears throat> All these measurements were to improve her vital energy. And I didn't show you, I did the radiesthesia procedure in these patients and all her chakras energy were in the lowest level. Uh, like in the table that I show you, all the patients were in the lowest level of energy. Uh, only the seven chakra had energy in this uh, in this patient. And uh, also I did the recommendation to avoid coffee, soda, and mighty tea in the right side of this slide, because these drinks could reduce the uh, second chakra, that is the kidney, that is important to produce yin yang. And the kidney is the most important energy uh, massive organ to produce the energy to maintain the memory and concentration together with this spleen. And that is why all these foods are very important the patient to avoid to um, increase the memory and concentration. Uh, next, please. And in her case, I did the, the apex blood dilation you can see in the right that this is a procedure that the Chinese medicine usually do to release the heat. And the heat is a symptom. It's a energy imbalances that can cause the, uh, the anxiety, panic syndrome, and many other disease can be caused by the heat retention, such as uh, anxiety, um, panic syndrome, schizophrenia, and can cause the infections, diabetes, can cause um, cancer. Many other disease in Western medicine are caused by the heat retention. And on the left, you can see the energy, uh, the auricular acupuncture points that they usually use to balance the internal organs using only these auricular acupuncture points. You can see number one is to treat anxiety. You can see number seven is a kidney point. Number six is a liver point, number four is a spleen, number 10 is a heart point. And each point has the energy 
um, functions to maintain the health of the human body. And number 11, you can see is the lung point. And you can, um, I wanted to explain to you that the, the kidney is responsible for the production of yin and yang. That is why it's very important to us to treat. The six and the, the 10, point, uh, the six and the 11 point is the liver and the lung is important to do the distribution of energy in the entire body. And the uh, number five, this, the spleen point is uh, important to produ produce the blood. And all these points are very important to maintain health. And after this uh, treatment, uh, next uh, slide, please. Oh, here is the result of this radiesthesia procedure that I did on this patient. You can see that all her internal organs were in the lowest level of energy with the exception of the seventh chakra that was no, normal rated in eight. And uh, you can see the first chakra in, on the bottom is the first is responsible for the production of chi. The second chakra is responsible for the production of yin yang. yang. The third chakra is responsible for maintaining the blood uh, um, in the in the vessels, controlling the flowing of the blood inside the vessels. And the fourth chakra is responsible for the distribution of this energy in the entire body. And the fifth chakra is responsible for the production, absorption of nutrients and production of blood. And the sixth chakra, you can see that is commanded by the kidney is responsible for the memory and concentration is also low. Uh, next slide, please. And the treatment of this lack of energy in, in the chakras, I usually do with these homeopathy medications. Why homeopathy? Because homeopathy can, uh, uh, the property of homeopathy is to induce uh, uh, improvement of the vital energy. Uh, very different from the um, use of high concentrated medications that can reduce even more the vital energy of these patients. And in this, uh, using homeopathy medication, I can treat these chakras energy deficiencies. But this is another theory that I created in 2015 and published it uh, five years um, later in 2020 uh, entitled Constitutional Homeopathy of the Five Elements based on traditional Chinese medicine. Because in China, when the patient has uh, uh, energy deficiency in the five massive organs, they usually use Chinese herbs to treat the patients. But as I live in Brazil and I have some difficulties to prescribe this kind of medication and the patient uh, do not have many uh, facilities to intake this kind of medication. I started to study homeopathy in Brazil in 2015. And uh, in the beginning of the course, I begin to write uh, th this theory linking homeopathy with traditional Chinese medicine. And that is why nowadays I can use treat my patient using Chinese medicine reasoning, but use homeopathy is a Western medication. It's easier for the patient and they're more cheap, uh, cheaper for the patient also. And uh, you can see in the right, the crystal-based medication is another medication that I use combined with homeopathy to improve the chakras energy of my patients. Next slide, please. Oh, here, there's a theory in traditional Chinese medicine that all 
the treatments. Uh, this is a secret in Chinese medicine. They do not show to everybody because this is a secret in Chinese medicine that the, all the cornerstone in Chinese medicine is in these four energies to maintain balance you know, between yin and qi and blood. And when we use the replenishment of, of our chakras energy of our internal massive organs, we can achieve health again. And you only using the rebalancing of these four energies. And this was the theory that I treated the patient in the lab, pain the legs, and improved the glaucoma condition. Using this theory, balancing the internal energies of yin yang qi and blood. And you can see the symbol of yin yang yang in the left. Um, uh, next slide, please. And you can see in this slide is that when the four energies of yin and qi and blood is, uh, is not in a balanced state, when there is an energy alterations between yin or yang or qi or blood, or a combination of these deficiencies, you can have the heat retention, a formation of fire that you can see. In, this, in the top in the yellow, that the, is the formation of fire that are the energy imbalances that uh, could involve it in patients with uh, energy deficiencies. And how can I do the diagnosis of uh, energy deficiency in all my patients? I usually ask five questions in all my patients. If the patient feels hotter, yeah, the patient has in deficiencies, very common woman in menopause. When the patient feels colder, mainly in the extremities, feet, um, colder feet, they had young deficiency. And when the patient has chi deficiencies, when the patient has abnormal sweating during the day, you can see this in uh, obese patient, it's very common. The patient, obese patient also has uh, abnormal sweating, but this is due to chi deficiency. And blood deficiency is when the patient do not go to the bathroom every day to have daily bowel movement. And to, to have, see if the patient has heat retention is when the patient has dry mouth, bad breath, bleeding gums, acne, or a redness in, in the skin or uh, itchiness or um, microscopic hematuria or abdominal pain. Next slide, please. And here are the second theory that are in the root of that tree that I show in the beginning of my presentation. And you can see that all, uh, all these are the five elements. Each element corresponds to one mass of organs in traditional Chinese medicine. And one, uh, 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 and the five mass of organs, they are, interconnected by the energy flow that is very different from the Western point of view that each, man, each organ is working independently and don't receive or has some energy uh, or some uh, influence on the functioning of the other organs. In the traditional Chinese medicine, all the organs are interconnected by the energy flow. And uh, if the one organ is weakened, he, he can influence the uh, functioning of the another organ. That is why to improve the memory of our patient that is, is controlled by this kidney, the black, uh, um, uh, the black uh, round figure there in the left, you need to, because the kidney is the, the organ that is responsible for many, memory and concentration together with this thing, the yellow one in this figure. And to, to, you can see that as I show you in the radiesthesia procedure that I measure in this patient, all these five massive organs were in the lowest level of the energy. And that's why to treat uh, these black and the yellow, we need to treat the entire 
organs because one organ influences the functioning of the other organ. And to improve the kidney, I needed to improve the lung because the lung is in, in this, uh, uh, <clears throat> before the kidney, you can see that the lung uh, is in the lowest level of energy and to treat the lung you you use silicia and to treat the kidney you use natrium muriaticum to treat the liver you use phosphorus to treat the heart you use uh, sulfur and to treat the spleen you use calcarea carbonica uh, and um, this uh, sequence of medication you need to give in the sequence of the generation cycle, as you can see in this figure. Next, please. And in this table, I'm showing you the five elements and the correspondence of the internal massive organs of each, each element. And one internal massive organs, they control one external sensorial organ. What this means, for example, wood element corresponds to the liver in green, in the column in green. And you can see that the liver commands the functioning of the eye and vision. And this is the main difference in Chinese medicine. When the patient has eye problem, you need to treat uh, the liver, not the eye itself. That's why the patient in the glaucoma that I show you, the patient with glaucoma, he didn't improve only treating the eye because his problem was not in the eye. His problem was in the liver and in the five massive organs that improved when I did the balance between yin and qi and blood. Uh, the fire is corresponds to the heart and, and is responsible for the communication. And when the patient has some problems in communication or have difficulties, some problems, the, the problem are in the, is in the heart and not in the thumb and not only uh, localized treatment that usually Western medicine usually do. And this pain problem, uh, earth in the uh, yellow column, is represented by the spleen. And the spleen is responsible for the sense of taste. And this is very common patients with COVID-19 nowadays because the patient has chakras energy deficiencies that is leading to this manifestation of lack of taste and lack of smell is due to this white column metal element uh, weakness. Uh, weakness state of the lung that is leading to lack of um, uh, sense of smell also. And when the patient has hearing process, is due to the water element deficiency due to kidney deficiency. And that is why we need to treat the kidney and not only the here, uh, the putting the, um, treating only the ear because ear problems is caused by the kidney. Next uh, slide, please. Here are the some uh, thing that we need to treat the kidney on the left. You need to eat more black beans and uh, grapes and uh, all black uh, food because black corresponds to the kidney. But only the uh, two black food uh, drinks that you need to avoid is Coke and coffee that's black, but could uh, worsen the kidney energy. Uh, next, please. Here is to show you the correspondence between chakra and the, the five elements and each five massive organs uh, that I, I explained earlier. The next. And here's a, a discussion uh, session. And the kidney energy depends on the parent's energy before the conception. And when, to see if the kidney of the person, there are two situations because he achieves the kidney energy from the mother and their father, uh, but he will have the kidney energy uh, after, uh, after, after the conception. Uh, uh, 
uh, it uh, will be uh, depending on the type of the foods that the, the patient is eating and the, the or if the, the patient could have many sexual intercourse will uh, decrease the kidney energy also and if the patient is not drinking uh, water in an adequately amount will reduce the kidney energy and um, the kidney is also responsible for memory and concentration the youth um, bone density the teeth the hearing process and the reproduction and sexual functions and all these are related to the second chakra or the kidney energy the next please and I also showed that uh, to replenish the kidney energy, the patient needs to sleep adequately and the time of sleeping is needs to uh, be at 9 p.m. Uh, better uh, earlier uh, to have the, the adequately replenishment of the kidney energy and avoid uh, and to drink adequately amount of water, it's about one liter per, per 25 kilo, kilos of weight. And avoid these soda and matcha tea and alcoholic beverages. Uh, next. Here are some publications that I did in the literature also showing the many articles related to chakras energy deficiencies. And in the left, you can see in this graph is an Arnschutz law. It's a law created in 1888 by two German researchers. And in this research, they are telling that the use of high concentrated medication will decrease the vital energy. You can see that this uh, graph, there are two waves, one to the um, upper, the, um, and one is down. This down in the graph showing the use of high concentrated medication. And the case, in the case of the patients that we have nowadays, we needed to reduce the use of this high concentrated medication because as I show you, the majority of the patients we have nowadays do not have any energy. And if we, if we still using high concentrated medication, the patient will even worse their vital energy. As in the case report I show you, she was treating depression, anxiety and many other symptoms using many kinds of high concentrated medication and she was having only side effects leading to tremor leading to memory loss and that is why to improve the energy in the chakras energy we needed to increase the use of high diluted medication to increase this vital energy leading to improvement of all the symptoms in the leaf level of the tree um, Okay, next. Oh, here is a good to show you that this is a medical doctor from United States that he is saying that the COVID-19 uh, pandemic could be caused by the 5G technology, but this 5G technology is harming the vital energy of the patients leading to a less uh, zen key that is the energy that protects the human body against the invasion of the external pathogenic factor that in this case is the SARS-CoV-2. Next, please. And after this treatment, she had improvement in the memory loss and in the holistic way, only treating the energy imbalances in the root of this tree, you need, you will have the improvement in all the leaves. Uh, and the improvement is, is not only in that specialty, the improved, improvement will be in all kinds of disease and all kinds of uh, symptoms presented by the patient in, uh, in many specialties at the same time. Next, please. Uh, 
And the conclusion of this study is that patients with many memory loss, uh, yeah, we needed to analyze the root of the energy imbalances on the root level of the tree. And uh, we needed to change the diet of the patient that is influenced the absorption of nutrients. And uh, you can use acupuncture to rebalance this internal energy and the replenishment, this energy that is very weak using high diluted medication according to the theory that I described, the con constitutional homeopathy of the five elements based on traditional Chinese medicine and the treat mainly the kidney or the heart or the spleen. But as I show you, to the treatment of these organs, you need to treat all the entire system that are weak and not only these three chakras. Uh, I think I uh, finished this presentation. Uh, this is a metaphor of yin yang that we need to have in mind the two kinds of medicines to understand in the deepest way the formation of memory loss in our patients and not only treating the symptoms. The symptoms is only a symptom. The cause is deeper in the root and we need to treat the root and not the symptoms. Uh, next, please. This is a Hippocrates quote. According to Hippocrates, we need to know which kind of a person has a disease? What energy imbalances the person has? And if you treat the energy imbalances of the patient, you will treat the disease. And if you treat the disease only, you will imbalance the root of the energy imbalances and the person will um, not improve entirely with the symptoms because you, you are not treating the root and not and just the symptom. And when you treat the root, you treat the patient, you will treat the uh, patient and not the disease. And that is why Hippocrates in, in, in that date, um, Many years ago, he is saying this for us, and we are not hearing what, what he is saying to us. And that's why we need to begin to, to hear what Hippocrates said. Uh, I think I, I finished my presentation. I would like to thank you to hear my presentation. And if you have any question, I will be very happy to answer you. Thank you very much. I have the, my email, if you want to email me, I'll be happy to, uh, to answer your questions or share our knowledge. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Okay, Dr. Hang, email is uh, in the chat box. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Doctor. Okay. Uh, our next speaker is Dr. Anshul Arora. Uh, right now, he is working 